Hi, welcome to Shop with Sally. I'm Sally Lindley, and on this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my favorite wardrobe basics, sunglasses. So I'm the kind of girl who does not leave, like to leave home without sunglasses in my hand or already on my face. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I think it's glamorous. I like to like not have makeup on and I feel like it kind of ups the quotient of like chicness when you have sunglasses on, when you don't have makeup on. Um, I don't know, I'm just like a big sunglasses fan and apparently my optometrist told me that's a very good thing for protecting my eyes against the sun at all times, even on days that are rainy. So FYI, it's for your health, so get with it. Um, I wanna talk about all the different sunglass shapes that are out there and to kind of figure out what's best to your face. I mean, I know that they have all these rules about if you have this shaped face, you have to wear this, and if you have to wear that, and blah, blah, blah. And I just don't think that that is true. So sorry to just throw that out the door for everybody. I hope that's not really upsetting or disappointing anyone out there. But I think that choosing sunglasses is more based upon the personal style you choose to take on for your day-to-day -day life. Now, because I'm a person who likes to change my personal style theme on a pretty much hourly basis, I, pre I own every single type of sunglass that you could possibly have. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the ones I have in rotation right now. Um, but I think it's more important to, when you're choosing sunglasses, look for sunglasses from the era and this, the decade that really inspires you. So if, you're, if you love the 70s and you dress totally 70s, I totally recommend going for an aviator. Um, aviator, whether it's a wire frame or aviator, which are, whether it's a harder frame, and I'll put my recommendations for those here. If you're more into like the older school, you know, 1950s vibe, 1940s vibe, um, I love the Clubmaster, which is the one that has like the heavy rim on top and then the wire rim on bottom. I love, um, if, if you like to go even older than that, there you have the like little round ones that are based on like old driving goggles. I think those are really cool. Those kind of remind me of the 20s and they also became big in the 70s again. Uh, if you're a big 60s fan, you can do the big massive Jackie O's, which are fabulous for running around without makeup on because they really cover your face. Um, the only style that I say to be careful with is the sporty type when you're going for like an Oakley or a Folkley where you start to get in those weird wraparound vibes. They can get a little too 90s and very super not chic. So I recommend staying with a kind of a little bit more chicer vibes when it comes to sunglasses. Stay away from anything like too incredibly sporty unless you are playing a real sport. Like if you're going out to play volleyball, then you probably do want some like legit Oakley wraparound sunglasses. So I actually will start there. I have my sport Oakleys that I wear, but they're more based on a Ray-Ban Wayfarer. And the reason I love these is because, um, number one, they're not too heavy. They're super duper light and they, you can pop them apart. So you can take the arms and I, I break stuff all the time cause I am a crazy person who's always on the go. So these are really good. So you don't have to be too kind of fragile with them. They, they easily pop apart and they're super duper light. So they're light on your face and they don't fall off. No, I'm a crazy person, sorry. Um, so I love these sunglasses, they're awesome. I love the polarized lens, it's really good for being outside, being in the sun. So I love these kind of Oakleys. And this is a frog skin Oakley. Um, they still make variations of these, I'll put links below. And it's more of a Wayfarer shape, which is kind of like the 1950s shape. So the other style I love that I've been rocking a lot, which is also kind of 1950s, 1960s vibe. I mean, really these kind of came around in the 30s. So they've been around forever. These are a crazy version from these guys in Venice called Crap. I love them. They're a crazy cat eye. They're kind of buggy looking, but I think they are fantastic. How do I look? They're called the Diamond Brunch. So they're very chic, but I love a fun cat eye. I mean, obviously I have a really big face. So for me, the bigger the sunglasses I like, the better. Um, but I love a cat eye, especially if you're into more of a bombshell kind of sexy glamorous look, or you're into like more of a kind of preppy pseudo preppy look. I also really love a Wayfarer. And Wayfarers kind of came around the 50s as well. And uh, the you know, my favorite Wayfarer ever is the one that Audrey Hepburn wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's and those were custom made for her by Bosch and Lama at the time. Um, but I have these Wayfarers that I adore that are by Victoria Beckham from a couple years ago and I'll put recommendations. She has a fantastic sunglasses line all made by Cutler and Gross in Italy. But I love, these are tortoise. I love black and tortoise because they just go with everything. 
And yeah, I just love that kind of classic Wayfarer shape as well. These are a little bit bigger because again, I have, I have um, a huge bobble head. So I like, and it really, you know, I know I said earlier that it doesn't matter as far as like, based on your face size, what you, what you buy, but it doesn't matter like what shape necessarily, it matters the size, like, cause you can get aviators really big or you can get aviators small. And that's how I recommend that you kind of choose your sunglasses. Number one, pick the decade that most closely goes with your style, whether it's your style at the moment or whether it's, it's your style always. And then also look at kind of the sizing of the, you can get like huge Jackie O's, you can get small round ones. You know, you can get Wayfarers that like fit your face and go to the edge of your face, or you can get ones that come out, come out past your face, which is what I like, um, because I have a massive bobblehead. So it kind of helps with that. But yeah, I mean, the kind of, the, the you know, you have the 30s um, round silhouette that I'll put below that's kind of more of a men'sy vibe, which I, I really like. It reminds me of like Truman Capote and people like that. Um, and then uh, Wayfarers are always classic and there's so many vari variations of those these days. You know, the the uh, aviators, which are, you know, actually came around in World War II because they were made for the pilots. But, um, but I feel like we're really heavily, heavily worn a lot in the 70s. And then, and then there's also, there's the kind of Run DMC 80s with the gold band on top. And I'll do some, see if I can find some recommendations for that. I have some of those in my kit. But yeah, I mean, those are kind of the main shapes. I think when you're shopping for your sunglasses wardrobe, really look at what decade reflects your personal style and you know and then if you're like a total modern kind of inspired by the party scene kind of girl then I think that they're really big fun from Nasty Gal and several people like Jeremy Scott and Linda Farrow are making really fun big shapes so you can check all um all my shopping recommendations below but yeah I mean I would just when you're when you're shopping this definitely something you want to try to go and try on in a store if you can, or you order it and just make sure there's a return policy because you have to figure out as far as size, whether you want something. If you have a smaller head, it's good to get something that's smaller in size, but you stay within those different shapes based on the decades. So those are my recommendations for sunglasses, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Shop with Sally.